Hello, uh, my name's Clive and I'm the author of CTK Theme Builder. Um, this is just a quick video to show you how to install it on Windows. Uh, I'll be installing it on Windows 11 here. I've previously installed it on Windows 10 without uh, a problem. Um, the process is pretty much the same between the two anyway. Um, so um, there's one, one uh, little extra bit that I'll need to show you because I've rehearsed this before. There's a step that won't occur again, uh, but I, I did take a screenshot, so I'll, I'll show you and explain what I mean at that point. Uh, I've got some broad brush steps here. Um, I'm not going to go through them now. I'm just going to actually, actually, um, I'm not going to explain them now. I'm just going to start going through the process, but I'll post um, these as prompts for you um, after the video, along with um, some some of the links that I'll be using. So the first thing you need to do uh, is down uh, is download uh, Python if you don't have it installed. Um, first of all, look, check check to see whether you've got it installed. So hit the search um, I, uh, button down at the bottom, and if you type in CMD and hit return, you should get a, a window open up. And from here, type Python two dashes and then version. And if you get this message, it means that you don't have Python installed. Um, and that makes my life a little bit easier. Uh, actually, it makes your life a little bit easy, a uh, little bit easier because if you are, have it installed, you've got to check to make sure that you're on 3.8 and above. And if not, you've got to make the decision of how you're going to get uh, Python 3.8 installed. Ideally, you want Python 3.10, 3.10, or Python 3.11. So I need to install Python. I'll close this window and you need to grab Python from python.org. Don't use the Windows. Um, well, I wouldn't advise that you use the uh, Windows Store to download Python. Um, simply because you're deviating from the process that I'm using here. Um, and apparently um, you get more features. Um, I'm not sure what they are, but from what I've, I've seen on videos and what have you, there are some features that you might miss out on. So I need to um, just scroll down a little bit and it's this selection here for uh, Windows uh, 11. Um, so let's get it downloaded. Previously downloaded, so um, that's why it came up with that prompt. You shouldn't get that. Uh, then if we open up the folder, um, we could start to get that installed. So one important point is you need to have Python on your Windows path. So you must click this down here, otherwise you won't get CTK Theme Builder to, to work. Then click Install Now. So that'll take a couple of minutes to install. Um, in the meantime, um, we need to go to GitHub and grab a copy of CTK Theme Builder. So um, when you arrive here, it's going to look like this. Um, you you need to be select uh, selecting this uh, tab on the left where it says code. And if you scroll down, um, you can see the releases and you need to click on that. Scroll down again and you'll see these three files. Ignore the bottom two files. You don't need them. It's this file here. So you click that and you download. Um, I'm actually going to be installing 2.3. Point zero. Um, I'll show you this downloading anyway. Um, and then if we open that directory, I've got 2.30. This is not released yet. This will be released within about a week. Um, but um, I'm doing all my demos based on this. So you need to copy this file to where you want to install to. So I've just hit Control C and then I'll to, to copy. And then I'm going to install it in my case, in my home directory, my Windows home directory. It's up to you where you install it. Um, you just need to be confident about uh, uh, Windows path names and what have you, if you deviate from what I'm doing. So let's copy that there. The next step, um, oh, by the way, it looks like we've completed that. So I'll just close that, that down. Next step is to come into here double click on the file and navigate inside it and then go down and find this file here 
Um, and then what you need to do is copy that file, extract that file um, into the directory that we, we copied the, the zip file into. So I'll just open a different window because it makes it a bit easier. And I've navigated into my home directory again. And then what you can do is just drag with the left mouse button, click it, drag and drop. And the file will appear here. So this is the um, the setup program which lets you install uh, CTK Theme Builder. So open up a terminal window. You should now see that we've got Python installed. If I run um, the Python command, if I can find it, and I'll retype it. Yeah. So. That's just confirming that I've got Python 3.11 installed. So now what we need to do is um, run the installation command. That looks something like this. Um, so you point Python at the, uh, the setup tool um, and you need to give it the installation location. Uh, what the install will do is it'll actually create a new directory below that called CTK Theme Builder, and it will install CTK Theme Builder into it. You need to point to the package which you downloaded, this file here, um, and it will use that to extract um, uh, the um, Python programs and what have you, and, and all the configuration, and install it into the uh, new directory that it's created. So let's kick that off. So that has completed. Um, it looks like it's been successful. Uh, you can usually ignore this. Um, I might change the installer to automatically upgrade uh, PIP, but generally speaking, it's it's benign. Um, so we we should be in a position now to to run that CTK theme builder. It's like I said, it's it's created a directory below. I'll just do a listing for you. And you can see it's created this directory, which is where CTK Theme Builder is now living. So if I go into that, I should now be able to run CTK Theme Builder. Now, this is where I wanted to point out a slight deviation, which you'll experience um, if you've not installed Python before. Um, and you'll get a pop-up that looks something like this. Um, if I can find it, it's in here. You might get a pop-up that looks like this anyway. Um, and what it's saying is, it, um, which program do you want to associate um, files with the .py extension? So you want to cho choose the Python. You might only get Python in actual fact. I mean, it's just that I've got uh, PyCharm, an IDE uh, use Python installed. So um, I've got two choices. I'm guessing <clears throat> unless you've got something similar, you, you might just get one here. So just click the Python and click always down at the bottom here once you've clicked it. So let's just um, run CT, CTK Theme Builder. If I do a DIR stand up bat, um, we'll see that we've got a CTK Theme Builder .bat file. You don't need to include the .bat to run it, but just to confirm that it's installed OK and it runs, There you go. Uh, you might find that in actual fact that it comes up in gray. Um, I think I might have forgotten to delete the old directory um, from my last run, um, but it's basically the same. What you'll see is something that looks like this. Uh, look like this to start with. Um, which is fairly bland. Um, so the next step um, is to, if you if you choose to do so, if you want a, uh, a launcher on here to make life a bit easier for you, um, then the next step is to create a shortcut. So if you navigate to where you installed it, um, 
I'm going to the CTK theme builder directory. There's an assets folder, and then there uh, is an images folder. Um, and you'll see that, just make a note that um, we've got um, these various images in here, and we're going to use these as part of the, the shortcut. The first, what you want to do is come to here, grab your bat file, the one that we just launched, right click on it and drag it onto your desktop and create shortcut here. And then you might want to rename it. Um, so show more options, rename, and I'll just get rid of the dash the bat and dash shortcut off the end, just to make it a short, shorter name. And then what you can do is go into properties and change the icon. So we browse and we need to go to where we installed it. And this is why I showed you the images because I've been in here before um, and you probably want the, um, Sorry, you probably want this icon here, um, this theme builder um, for 48 by 48. So, okay, that's created uh, an icon for it. And then there's another change you need to make. Set this to minimized here. Um, otherwise you get a window popping up when you launch it. If I do a click on that, that launches CT, CTK theme builder for you. And you're good to go. You should be able to select um, a theme, one of the existing themes, and start playing around it with it if you like. Um, and that's it, really. Um, fairly straightforward, I think. I'll do another video for Linux users. Um, in some respects, that's a bit simpler. Uh, in other respects, it can be a little bit more complicated at times, but um, generally speaking on Linux, you, at least with the distributions I've used, uh, Python is pre-installed anyway. So uh, in that respect, it, it can be simpler. Anyway, hope you found this useful and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.